Wednesday morning. It is so hopefully you had a good night's sleep. You were able to um, get to work, home, or your destination of choice, safe and sound in one piece. No castle fuss, trouble, problems, or misunderstandings. And definitely no meet and greets, right? Coming home yesterday, I saw all type of meet and greets up and down the freeway. You're on the opposite direction, though. So, yeah, be careful, especially when it's raining. And it's definitely been raining here, on and off. Yesterday, sitting at the, I think about, what time was it? Oh, 12 something, maybe 1 o'clock. All of a sudden, I heard like the cracking of thunder. I was like, golly, it sounded like if it was a major accident. It was like, boom. I was like, got to be more careful. I looked out the window like, you know, you look out of amazement trying to see like what the, seriously? Seriously? But yes, honey. Um, trying to see as far, how far down the cyclist was that's on the bike path. I wasn't going out in front of him. Um, and so, yeah. So I guess it's going to be like this all week. All week, we are going to be dealing with um, with rain, apparently. So, um, it is what it is. It is what it is. And so, um, when I got home yesterday... I got my um, my package from my best friend, my t-shirt. I thought it was so sweet, so nice. It was so cute, so beautiful. It was like everything. And uh, it was saying we wasn't, not sisters from birth, but sisters from heart. And it was so beautiful. Like, and I, I fell in love. And I, uh, I posted it and everything um, on my Instagram and everything. And um, I called her, besides texting her, I called her um, not just to check on her, but to ask how her family was doing because they had a, um, a death in the family. And um, her family member spouses, you know, gone, um, was, uh, very ill, so, uh, they passed away, and, um, her family member is grieving very hard right now, and so, um, I, I'm, I'm sure that's gonna take a, a, a big effect for a while, but grieving very, very hard right now. And so, um, I just want to make, see how she was doing or, you know, how the family was doing. And, uh, I talked to my other best friend. He's doing better, uh, with the medicine that the doctor gave him for his, uh, upper respiratory. And, um, he said he, you know, it's helping him cough up a lot of, uh, mucus and, uh, cold. I guess that was sitting in his, uh, his chest on you know, congestion. And so he said that, that's really helping. But, uh, he said he knows after this, you know, uh, to keep some mucinex on hand. And I was like, okay, I ain't mad at you for that, right? And um, I made my uncle's uh, dinner. I baked the chicken. I didn't cut it up and put it into the, the lasagna skillet uh, meal that was in the uh, pantry by Belvita. I just made that separately. And um, uh, then I make the chicken. And the funny part is, like, my aunt uh, came over to take my uncle to church. And so he went to church while I was cooking. That's not the funny part. The funny part is my cousin, who's his writer, came over and I did.
didn't know because you know I, like I said I never really know when she's there when she's not um, I don't know in the beginning we we used to like communicate and talk when I you know before I got over there and even in the beginning when I first moved in you know when I used to go just be there on the weekends last year until I moved in this year and in the beginning she, you know we would communicate now we don't like I don't know when she comes and when you know how long she stays there or anything like that I'm that gives me a hint that she's been there is like if there's mail there for her I leave it on the table that she goes ahead and um, takes the mail or it's um, when she brings me something to eat and I still see the certain things if it's not his groceries it may be something that she took that she put in um, the refrigerator so back to what I was saying this funny thing same way I made my uncle the uh, lasagna skillet yesterday, right, with the baked chicken. She also made him lasagna, and she bought him a salad and a piece of uh, garlic toast. And I said, well, I guess <laughs> we were both thinking the same thing. So, uh, he has lasagna. He has plenty of lasagna for the week. Well, I put it like that for today and tomorrow. So it don't matter if he eats it today for lunch and dinner and tomorrow for lunch again. Because I believe it's enough in there for him to eat on for the next, you know, two days. For today and tomorrow. I'm not too sure what he ate last night with my aunt since they went to church. Uh, that part I don't know, right? And, um, but I at least cooked. And I bought to what I ate a little bit of my quinoa salad last night. But I forgot while I was talking to my best friend. And I'm, I'm telling him everything that I got in. I said my, uh, my other best friend I got on the phone with her because she had to, uh, uh, you know, uh, had things to do with her family. And so uh, she said she would call me back uh, later on. I said, okay. So I'm talking to my other best friend and I'm explaining, I'm telling him everything I done put in my uh, quinoa couscous and with the kale, uh, tomato and stuff in my salad, right? And, and the lemon uh, vinaigrette, I only had a little left and I was like, I ain't trying to use it all. Never once did it dawn on me, hey, you forgot the calamari olives and you forgot the cucumbers. I didn't have any of the good, but they, the basis is there, right? And I was like, I'm sitting there in the room and I'm eating it and I was like, it just don't taste the same. I said, uh, it's not it's not hitting that spot for me. I mean, I done put cracked black, black pepper on it, you know, besides the lemon vinaigrette. And I was like, it's just not popping the way that I, I need it to. It don't taste it. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm good. And while I'm sitting there, there talking to him, and I'm telling him everything that's in there, it dawns on me. I didn't put those, those items in there, those ingredients. So I go back to the uh, kitchen and I cut up three mini cucumbers and I get about three big scoops, at least it's big scoops for me, um, of calamari olives out of the jar and put them in my salad. When I tell you it turned it around so fast, it tasted so good, I was like, yeah. But either way, I still didn't eat, eat the rest of it. I put it um, in my lunch pail so I could bring it to work, right? And um, and my avocado, I'm bringing my avocado because what I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to eat half the avocado this morning for my breakfast, right? Because uh, I put the other, um, my avocado yesterday, ooh, that sesame bagel that I got from um, Einstein bagel that was toasted, oh, I put that uh, avocado on it with some tahini. When I tell you some good eating, good eating, that was the best avocado toast I ate on. The bagel was soft, moist, chewy, delicious. You hear me? Y'all ain't been to Einstein Bagel. You need to go on the go. You, you need to go on the go. But um, from that, I was like, okay, I'll just use half my avocado half this morning and I'll eat the other half. I'll, I'll cut the other half up and put it in my kale salad. I'll have that for uh, lunch, right? And while I'm thinking about this and getting my uh, my lunch together and everything, why does my co-worker yesterday, the one I told
told you about myself. They're having a uh, Charlie Brown flick for uh, Twilight Zone too. Sip it to my uh, look here. Uh, are you going back? To, coming back to uh, tomorrow? And I had it took me a minute to, to realize what he was talking about. I said going back tomorrow. I said going back. I was like, what was he talking about? And now it dawned on me. I said this boy is talking about Einstein baby. Um, I said, brother, baby, great. I was like, I didn't plan on it. Why? I said, are you over there um, addicted to Einstein bagels that fast like that? He's talking about, yes. And I was up here cracking up. I said, don't start to get sketchy. He's talking about, it was good. It was real good. I'm telling you, it was good. I said, so it's better than Taco Deli? Because uh, Taco Deli, I can usually go and get the uh, breakfast tacos from. But he usually likes the sausage, egg, and cheese from there, right? And um, once he tasted that bagel yesterday, he was, he was basically saying, Taco Deli who? He was like, seriously, it's good. I said, well, did you join the rewards uh, email club? And um, so you can have those different perks when you go. You know, when you go there and you purchase stuff, your points add up, and then they give you certain things that might be at a discount or free or certain specials. And I said, so did you join the, the club? No. I was like, no. I said, you got to join the club so you can be able, you know, to also get certain uh, perks. I said, especially since you like the egg sandwich. And he, did, he never responded back. No, he said he hadn't, uh, after that, he never really responded back after saying, I told him he needed to join the club. And, um, sorry, y'all, I, I need to pay attention so I can get over. Because you got a big old truck. It's not an 18-wheeler, but it's a nitrogen refrigerated liquid. And there's a truck behind it. Ain't nobody trying to run up on that truck. Ain't nobody sitting there trying to tailgate that truck. That must be out your mind. Who trying to freeze like that? Does it look like I want to be a part of the Terminator experiment? If y'all don't know which Terminator I'm talking about referring to nitrogen and oxygen, I don't know what to tell you. I know they have like 57 million of them, but still. <laughs> So all like half his text throughout the uh, the night was, it's good, man. It's so good. I'm I'm serious. I said, is you over there eat my You know, it's got me being like Pookie, uh, wounded like Pookie. And I fell out. I fell out. So I sent him a picture. It wasn't a Pookie. It was of Dave Chappelle. You know, when he plays the uh, the character with the uh, powder lips and stuff. I sent him that one, right? And I was like, okay, Charlie Brown. And uh, he, he starts laughing. I said, I came with you. I said, man, you just doing too much. I came with you. So I said, but it's good that you're trying new things. And he was like, next time you go, that's the only sandwich I want. I said, wait, 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 wait. I said, that's good that you like the sandwich. I said, but you know, they have other ones that you can try. And, and see which other ones may become your favorite besides that one. Because for me, my favorite definitely for a long time was the, um, uh, what is it? The, um, it was the Sunrise, I think it was, with the uh, jalapeno bagel. That was my thing for, for a minute. You know, not all the time that I want, you know, bacon and eggs or, or, uh, and, uh, things like that or sausage. You know, I would have, like, before I gave up meat, I would get the bacon. I would rarely get the sausage and I definitely didn't do ham, right? Or, um, I would just get the, you know, uh, I forgot what it was called. The avocado, uh, was it tomato, avocado, um, dang, I forgot what, uh, but 
basis of it was the avocado spread, the tomato, and the egg with the cheese and that, uh, the cheese and stuff. But I would get it on the jalapeno. Um, I cannot think of the name, but for a minute that was that was my jam too. So. Um,
breathe in some air, it probably won't be, you know, very fresh air because, you know, we got a lot of pollution everywhere. But you breathe in what you can, you hear me? And then sit there and try to be outside anywhere for 5 to 15 minutes in this gorgeous sun and get you some, you know, nature's natural vitamin D onto your skin, let it absorb in. Give you the vitamins that you need for your bones, your skin, your health, and, and feel good. Um, I'm not gonna show y'all the sun today because you know I already it's, on, it's the sun, it's beautiful. Okay, this man ain't gonna let me get over, so I need him to act like he knows he, what he wanna do and drive. I thought, you know, 
Then Zipper says basically calling and tell him nothing. Uh, he was basically got, I uh, guess, let go, fired or something like that. Or that he should have came to work or whatever. I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. And if you watch Manifest, uh, then you would have been laughing too. You would be straight laughing too. Because Ben has lost his mind entirely. Because he is really obsessed with, you know, trying to make sure that people are are, are, are doing their, their calling. So nobody at the end of, I guess when it comes down to their judgment day, uh, I guess their end date, that, you know, they don't all dissipate. I guess basically into ashes because they're finding out that the that they actually the plane blew up or this is what they're they're thinking from their visions is that the plane actually blew up and they died but it came back all because they went over this certain area um, where they were flying and then uh, zombie uh the NSA had a piece of Noah's Ark that um, they've been holding on to that they found the same, you know, basically um, crystallization from sapphire and from um, DNA from a um, peacock that was supposed to have been over 6,000 years old. And with that, it was supposed to have been where they found it was next to a, uh, uh, a sleeping volcano, right? It was supposed to have been like the last supposed evidence of remaining of Noah's Ark, right? And all of a sudden now in the same area by the lake where uh, in the middle between where between the mountains and the lake and everything where uh, he came back from where um, the bad dude from uh, you know where it went in the water um, from killing his two partners and trying to you know take the money for himself take the money for itself, right? And, um, where he was, uh, resurrected at, or came back to life, and then where the three, um, dudes from the, um, the killings and the robberies came back. So in the center of that, um, on the road, has an erupting volcano there. And Cal kept seeing that in his uh, his uh, snow globe that is uh, belongs to his uncle, right? And everybody's getting burned by this, you know, uh, Kayla got burned by the car that had the volcano on it. And uh, Cal is, is getting, got burned from the snow globe because the volcano is erupting inside the snow globe. Don't get the 
calling me. And but uh, I end up falling asleep. I think I'm on episode ten. I watched eight. I watched nine. But on ten, I definitely was getting sleepy. So I started going dozing off, and that was about eleven o'clock. I said, "Man, I'm about to go to sleep." I said, "Every night I have been up to about eleven something, ten something, watching manifest." I said, "Look." I'm going to bed. I rolled over. I put that on pause. I rolled over with the sleep. So, uh, that's what I did. just by the inch of my chin, right? So, no. We're gonna go on straight in. Clock in, do what we gotta do. Check the emails. Check to see if we have any phone calls. And, um, from there, come on back downstairs and move the car. That's basically it. That's it in a nutshell, for real. But yeah, I'm seeing a lot of different people um, post for uh, Manifest now on uh, social media. And so, Manifest is picking up. Oh, I also saw, um, was that Yahoo News? I think it was. That um, for life, I, I am deep. IMD. Um, it's supposed to be picking it up for streaming. I think that's it. I could the um, initials incorrectly backwards. I'll talk about I'll look it up. But yeah. They picked up for life. So that, that's good. That's a good thing, right? Um, and go from there. Of course, also, this summer, I do believe, um, Power Book, um, two with Canaan is supposed to be coming out. We'll see how that one goes. That'll be the next thing to move on to. Because, you look, I know a lot of people wrapped up in power. Okay? So, you, you best believe this summer is going to be, you know, pretty good. And, um, take it from there. They take it from there. Now, what would be cool, would be really cool, really, you know, something to have, um, if they came up with a book for power. Because you already got the show out there. So, in between, like, the seasons, when people are looking for a fix, because everybody's looking for certain spinoffs and certain people I think certain ones should be books if y'all understand certain ones should be books you know if 
they didn't get to make it as being a power book on TV. Make it into a book itself. Now, this is just my idea. I don't know if Courtney and 50 Cent has ever thought about this, but I'm saying this today. Okay? June, uh, what, what's today? The 31st? I mean, what am I saying? The 31st. I am truly out of it if I think today is the 31st. I am truly out of it if I then came all the way over here to the garage instead of driving my happy self to, I'm, I'm going to be like my mind somewhere else instead of driving straight in like an idiot. To issue a ticket, move your head. I'm saying on June 30th to issue a at 7 a.m. I'm going to post the time, right? This is the top of the hour. I am saying that um, they should make it a book. Me, Miss Kimberly Rochelle, said that. The ones that they don't make into a TV series for the book on, um, on power, they should make it into an actual book so people feel fulfilled on certain ones. I, hey, I'm only saying what I'm saying. So people get the other background of the other characters or whatever and cover the market. Don't play. Don't play. All right, y'all, let me get out. Because I done bought my happy cell phone over here. Y'all gonna have to go with me. Let's go. I said we were supposed to drive straight in. I bought my stuff over here. Now we definitely gotta hurry up and get downstairs and pray that the show come. Um, yeah, make it into a book. Make those certain characters that people think are deserving of uh, episodes or, or season and so book. That would be cool. That gives them something to fixate on and do in between the season. Now I'm just saying, come on now. I don't care which elevator comes first, up or down, but I need to get on downstairs. Let's go. But I want to thank you guys for communing with me this morning, being a part of my drive in to work. And I pray that you have a good day, a great day, an awesome day, a beautiful day, a lovely day, a wonderful day, a blessed day. And that uh, you get to work home or your destination of choice. Safe and sound in one piece. No hassle, fuss, trouble, problems, or misunderstandings. Uh, definitely no meet and greets. And please don't let people work your nerves down to the last of the frizzle frazzles. Okay? I'm going to talk to y'all later.